months after a devastating landslide destroyed part of Route 30 in East Pittsburgh, there are signs of progress as crews work to rebuild the road. We expect to get new information on their progress later today. Megan Schiller is live with the very latest. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. The construction crews have just arrived, and now that the sun is up, it's a lot easier to see what progress has been made out here along Route 30 and also what progress still needs to be done. Right now, this parking lot in front of the Electric Avenue apartments is filled with heavy machinery, very large amounts of steel, big steel beams. Also, they plan to bring even more tons of concrete fill. They have to fill all the way up from beyond where that retaining wall is right now back up to the very top where that road is or where that road was before they even can begin to think about putting that road back in place. Now, right now, the retaining wall, you can see the wood as well as those beams that have already been placed. They've been making very quick progress on that. It's about 12 feet right now, and they say that that wall, when finished, will be 20 feet high, and the wall will be 400 feet long. That's because they want to wrap it behind all of the apartment buildings, the Electric Avenue apartments. They want to protect the apartment buildings that are remaining. And you'll remember that there were a handful of those apartment buildings that were crushed or demolished whenever Route 30 collapsed. Now, they say that this big retaining wall should be done by mid-June, and then the road, they have a later timeline for that. They're saying the road may be the end of June or early July. That press conference is at 1 o'clock this afternoon, and our John Shumway will be there. He will be bringing you the very latest. We hope to get an updated timeline from PennDOT at this afternoon's press conference. Reporting live this morning in East Pittsburgh, Megan Schiller, KDKA-TV Morning News.